Developments today as Mohammed Saeed, the man accused of killing two Muslim men, could be released from jail before his trial. Action 7 News reporter John Carnell explains why that might happen. Yeah, hey, Shelly and Doug, here in New Mexico, when someone's charged with a crime, they're given one of these, a public safety assessment, and it lets a judge know whether someone should be behind bars until their trial. And in the case of 51-year-old Mohammed Saeed, it's suggested that he be let go. Recently, the public safety assessment for Mohammed Saeed came down. And so the judges are using this checklist, using this tool to make determinations, but it's being used throughout the country. It's pretty standard these days um, as a way to determine whether someone can be released or whether there are conditions that need to be imposed. The Arnold tool examines a person's prior criminal history to assess whether a person charged with a crime should be released before trial. He's of, of an age that I think the courts generally think people who are that age are less likely to fail to appear. Um, the criminal history or the lack of criminal history uh, is significant because there hadn't been any convictions. Because Saeed has not been convicted of any prior crimes, his criminal activity score is a two out of six and his failure to appear is a three. The tool recommends he be released from jail before trial. We obviously have filed this motion feeling that we have sufficient uh, evidence that he is dangerous and we're going to present everything we have to the court. That's Greer Staley, deputy district attorney for Bernalillo County. She says their office has filed a motion to keep Saeed behind bars until trial. And ultimately, it's up to the judge, but we do feel strongly he should not be released. People charged with two counts of first degree murder have been let out before. Adrian Avila was let out with an ankle monitor earlier this year because his Arnold tool rating was low, but the state Supreme Court eventually ordered him to go back to jail. Any prior Supreme Court decision is certainly going to be a precedent, something that a judge at a lower level is going to have to consider. And Saeed's preventative detention hearing is scheduled for Monday. Reporting live in Albuquerque, I'm John Cardinelli, KOAT Action 7 News.